My name is Mohamed. I came from France. I'm the founder of My Farm Dubai. And welcome in my greenhouse. Every uh, holidays, I went to uh, my grandfather's uh, garden in the south of France. And it was for me like a, a paradise. All the species varieties growing together, the trees uh, mixed together in, the, in a very beautiful garden. So my grandfather, he was using his own seeds in the south of France and the climate is particularly hot and the soil is, what we can say, bad stones and sand. So it's globally similar to what we have here in Dubai. So I started to uh, check if the seeds are adapted or not. I started to plant the, my grandfather's seeds in, 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 uh, in front of my house. They start to grow and they start to produce. So I started to think what we can really do to produce a good quality, a good food quality here in Dubai, in the desert. During the day it's uh, 70 easily. This is 47. So 47 now and uh, at 6 p.m. So during the day, it's, uh, it's, re it's really, really high. And the soil is dry now, so seven, it's going to give water again. So here it's uh, powder, you see? The soil is, uh, is it was really, really hot today. But still, the, the, the plant, they survive. They are still okay. We still teach the seeds to, to grow to an, uh, a hard, uh, difficult environment. So we give only one minute irrigation. So they learn from that. They learn from the soil. So every time you produce, take the seeds, produce, take the seeds, and replant again, and it's a cycle. And the seeds, they have the capacity to learn about the area where they are growing. So we use this capacity naturally to adapt the seeds here in the desert. And here it was full of basil. So imagine that when you have, uh, this line was full, only one, two, three, four, five, Five plants survived on 60, so that's that's not not a lot, right? But if we take the seeds from those who survived, so we'll be able to produce a very very strong quality. We try to work with heirloom seeds uh, from everywhere around the world. Uh, more than uh, a hobby, it's a, it's a challenge. Like imagine it, everything can grow if you build a real soil, the good quality soil, you can grow almost everything. For the tomatoes, we took 120 are working well. So we trust that the same for all the varieties, like a melon, we have some melon from France, they are growing so, uh, so well here. And we have some other kind of melon, they are not working. So we are trying to find the good varieties and because it's uh, have to be sustainable as well. So if you work uh, with seeds uh, which need uh, a lot of water, a lot of uh, fertilizers, it's not going to be sustainable. So why we start from the animals? Because the animals, with the animals, we start our uh, process. We produce the food for our animals, the grass. This grass is fresh and organic, and we feed them every day with the fresh grass. As you can see, they love it. After that, they are going to produce the waste. The waste, we send it to the compost area at this side. So this compost, we let it ferment for six months, and after six months, we add it to another type of compost, which is from uh, trees, branches, leaves, all of this. We mix it all together. And the best compost I trust is the mix of everything. So as I told you, we produce the food for our animals. We feed them with the fresh grass. They produce waste. The waste is going to the compost area. The compost is going back to the land. The land is feeding the plant. The plant are feeding the animals and us. Totally close. I started young, still repairing a lot of things. And I was working with the with uh, different kind of tools or recycling to do 
things like small cars or small boats or small things like that when I was young. So I started engineering because I liked it. When you do farming, you need to, to, to connect the pipes, you need to use to reduce the energy consumption. Uh, all of that is in link with the engineering. And you need to build the greenhouse in the right side. You have to calculate everything to be efficient right now. All the problems can come uh, in one time and you can lose everything. So you have to react, you have to understand the system you are working on, you have to fix the system uh, quickly and uh, you know the, we are in desert. So without electricity it can start to be very hot in the greenhouses. Without water, if you lose one day you can lose the production. If you lose two days you will lose the production. So it's uh, very hard uh, to control not only our environment, but also around us. So many things we cannot control. Are these the last carrots of the season? Yes. Even now when I touch them they are very very hot. You know? The water is just coming now. We give water in the evening. So the water is going to stay there for the night. It's going to evaporate during the day so we can give back uh, water tomorrow evening. Because we don't have enough water then. Even if I wish to give more I couldn't. I love this one. We did, uh, we did the bread with this one. Here in the desert, this job is very hard. Uh, Sometimes you have to work at 50 degrees. And then you see in the greenhouse, it's, it can be very, very hot. So if you, are not, uh, if you don't have the patience to, uh, to do it, uh, it's not working. It's not working. I'm 32 years old. So I think it's the best time for me to uh, use my knowledges and act to do something. Vous mettez, vous pouvez monter dessus, venez, je vous en prie. You can join, boy. Come, come. So here, what we do, we produce the seeds at the farm. But here, this is a traditional technique to remove the seeds. So you have to jump on it like that, guys. Jump, 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 jump. Come, boy. <laughs> come. Here you have, everything have to be balanced. Usually people, they think you have to give water more. But you have to feed the plant also. If the plant gets enough mineral, uh, the plant is going to be strong. And remember that the, this system is also giving hair, hair around the roots. So nitrogen is going naturally around the roots. So hair, water, nutrients, lights. The light is enough in your ear, I think. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but we need one last... A lot of people are, are eating uh, what we call LC, but it's still uh, cooked, uh, cooked long time. When you cook, uh, for example, an eggplant to more than 20 minutes, you eat nothing. So you have to find a way and work with the chefs. It's very important as well. And I want the chefs to come and to be inspired and to uh, learn about this plant is coming from the, this country and this country. So it's a kind of travel. So every time we are learning with the chefs, and that's a key for the educational as well. It's okay? Thank you. Good afternoon, everybody. My name is Mohamed, the CEO and founder of uh, My Farm Dubai. And I'm here today to explain you about uh, the story. The only things we can, uh, with, with no limit, is the knowledges. So, it's not about the quantity, you can share the knowledges like uh, with the videos, with many uh, workshops with, and like only me and my family start to take care of this heritage. I'm sure about if I share more here in Dubai, we have so many communities, so many people traveling. So it's the best, best area to, to share uh, about, about farming because here you have this uh, 
you know, people are still doing comparison between their countries and here. And I think Dubai is a, is a mix of all the countries around the world. And when I was in France, I was not really uh, going to compare. Uh, it was like that, the system is like that. And, but here I want to bring my best in Dubai, like the best of me. And I, I, I'm sure you are doing the same. Everybody is doing the same. And or else the minimum is to like compare what 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 system we have in my country, what 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 we are doing here, and try to bring the best to do the best. How are you, Apollo? How are you, boy? Don't shy. <laughs> baby boy, he's a baby. How old is he? Maybe four, six, four to five, easily five months. Still drinking milk. So we are never going to remove the babies. They they like him too much because he's a he's Sheikha driver and. Uh, Every time like he has like few food waste or fruits or whatever, he's coming to them and feed them with it. So you see he's taking care of them and they know who is going to take care of them. I love this. I will day this time I will come here. I see that like a, a big mountain and I have to I have to I have to go step by step. I'm not looking for the highest level. I'm going like this is my step today. Tomorrow I will try to push again and I don't have a target or a goal. I don't have a limit as well. So it's bit in between. I, I will try to do my best. As we said at the beginning, it's uh, only giving your best. Uh, I'm sure that if we, I give my best, and when I will see maybe my last day or if it's something coming, I'm sure to be happy about what I've done. It's like uh, like that. I want to have people understand that um, it's it's not easy. It's uh, not a challenge like you put the seeds and boom and it's coming and you eat in a few seconds, few minutes. Uh, I want people to understand that it's a really hard challenge to grow food, particularly in the desert. And um, uh, see now it's very hot. Uh, so, so, so you want them to understand what condition, uh, conditions we are working uh, to finally give uh, what, uh, what we can call a perfect product, which is safe, healthy, and nutritional, with a high nutritional value. Uh, all of that is coming in a few, few minutes in your hand, but before that, we have a hard, hard job to do it. <laughs>